Hi there! In this video, we will dive into Google's free listings. We will discuss how they help you grow your business and how you can configure them in your Google Merchant Center when advertising via a Google CSS partner like Product Hero. So, first things first, what are Google's free listings? Free listings allows you to showcase your products across Google for free. For example, you find these products on the Google Shopping tab. It's important to note down that you, alongside free listings, you will also see paid listings here, known as shopping ads. Where do your free listings appear? With free listings, your products can be displayed across different Google channels, like the Shopping tab, Google Search, Google Images, Google Maps, and Google Lens. So, how can you benefit from free listings for your Merchant Center? There are three benefits of using it. One, save on cost. Generate free traffic to your website by promoting your products on Google. Two, expand your audience. Reach a broader audience of potential customers who are searching for products like yours. Three, competitive advantage. You can compete with paid listings and potentially gain an advantage in your market. When you use free listings alongside paid shopping ads, you can double the impressions of your shopping ads on Google. If this sounds good to you, let's go to the configuration. Before setting up free listings, there are several things you should keep in mind. First, check if your free listings are disapproved in your merchant center that is active on Product Hero CSS. You can check if your Merchant Center is active for free listings through the Overview tab and the Products Overview tab in your Merchant Center. If your free listings are disapproved, stay tuned to get them approved again. Why did you get a disapproval for free listings in your Merchant Center? Your free listings will be disapproved in your Merchant Center when you have a multiple Merchant Centers for a certain domain. The Merchant Center with the most uploaded products is automatically selected for free listings by Google. To resolve the issue, an additional Merchant Center under Google CSS is required. It might sound odd, but you will configure free listings for your domain within an additional Merchant Center that is on Google CSS. We will guide you through these steps in a moment. Please hold on. Okay. Now that you made sure you comply with all the requirements, let's set up the free listings for your Merchant Center on Product Hero together. If you don't have an additional Merchant Center on Google CSS at the moment, the first thing you need to do is to create one. In the description, you will find a link to create a Google Merchant Center under Google CSS. First, go to your Google Merchant Center. Secondly, verify and claim your domain. Go to settings and choose business information. Click on the website and type in your domain name. Keep in mind that only users who have verified the website can claim the domain. And this verification process must be carried out by an admin user in the Merchant Center. If you need more information about verifying and claiming your domain, you will find the link into the article in the description. If you see this yellow notification, don't worry. This is just a flaw in Google systems and it won't affect your shopping ads. You might also receive this confirmation email that you lost your website URL claim, which can be a bit misleading, but your product here sees us is working fine. There will be no disapprovals there. The third and final step is configuring Product Hero CSS for free listings. In your Google CSS Merchant Center, navigate to the settings and select Shopping Ads Setup. Scroll to the bottom of the page and click on Comparison Shopping Services to find the active CSSs for your domain. If you want to use your Product Hero Merchant Center for free listings, it needs to be selected here. 
you can only select one CSS to use for the free listings. If it's not selected, hover over the product hero row and you will see a three dots icon at the end of the row. Click on that to choose product hero CSS at the partner for your free listings. You can also choose to make this your CSS for placing products outside of Europe if that's what you need. Keep in mind that CSS advantage of working with a Google CSS partner only affects the shopping ads in European countries that participate in the CSS program. And there you have it, you're all set. With the next product update in your Product Hero Merchant Center, your products will be approved for free listings. This usually happens within 24 hours. That's it for now. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel to receive more tips and tricks about the Merchant Center and shopping ads on Google. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you next time. Bye.